what's up you guys? Katie Bops here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my custom Dan and Phil board game, Fanopoly. I'm going to give you guys an entire run through of the game, half for my sake to look back on and remember and half for your sake so you can see how I made this really awesome custom board game for Dan and Phil. First of all we have the box. This was made with an old secondhand Monopoly game that we pasted the new design onto the outside. This bit here is a section of the board that is one of my favourite parts. And then up the top here we've got a drawing that my friend Rachel Billicookie did for the logo of Fanopoly. And then we have created by Kate, Katie Popsy. So there is no way that anyone knows that I didn't make this game. Along the sides I also have the same information as well as the 2 to 8 players and ages 8 plus. Some bits got cut off when I glued them into the box because I didn't measure it 100% correctly, but I can't fix that now. So, on the bottom of the box we have all of the information about the game as well as a preview of what the board looks like. This bit here says, Fanopoly, the board game you never knew you needed. Dive into the world of Monopoly, only this time themed around those two tall boys from the internet, Dan and Phil. Try not to throw any gold play buttons at each other as you trade, buy and sell your way to win. Game equipment. And then it lists everything that's in the game. Custom game board with channels for railways, books for utilities and a variety of videos for properties. Seven tokens including a bottle of Ribena, Totoro, a bonker and more. Title D cards. Custom Fanopoly money, created by Rachel at Billa Cookie on Twitter. Chance and Community chess cards. 32 silver play buttons in place of houses. 12 gold play buttons in place of hotels. Two dice and a custom rule book. And then across the very bottom here, it's got created by Kate. Twitter at Katie Popsy. Insta at Katie Popsy. YouTube Katie Pops TV. Tumblr Katie Pops. So there is no way that if they ever show this anywhere, that they can't credit me for creating it. When we open up the box, we have a letter that I've written to them explaining everything about the game, which reads, Hey Dan and Phil, as I'm sure you've seen, the internet has been asking you guys to play Monopoly for a long time now. I took this matter into my own hands and thus Fanopoly was born. I've spent the past three months putting it all together and customising every part, from the box, the board, the play pieces, everything. Even the rule book is custom. You may want to check for some cheeky rules I've added. I'll show you those later. I hope that you love and appreciate it, and if you feel like giving it a play on Down and Field Games, I won't object. If they played this on Down and Field Games, I would actually die. I've loved your videos for four years now, and this is an accumulation of all of my appreciation put together. Thank you for everything that you do, and thank you for making me so happy with some silly videos on the internet. Please enjoy Fanopoly, play it with your friends, and let me know if you liked it. And then at the very bottom here, I have all of my social media links again, so, you know, they can never go wrong. And on the very back, I've got a different bit. It says, Fanopoly wouldn't have been possible without the help of my amazing friends. Rachel at Bullet Cookie on Twitter drew the amazing logo and made all of the custom money. Kira at KiraKill23 on Insta helped me make the custom play pieces, gave me heaps of ideas for the board, and drove me to our local print shop many times. Thank you, Kira. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my pals Corinne, Ellery and Sarah helped out too. So that's the letter that's in the top of the box. Then we have the board. Now this is one of the most exciting pieces. Aww. How cool is this? So this is printed on like a thick card paper and then we pasted it on an old Monopoly board. I'll explain to you how the board works. For the properties, and the colours, we have all of the different videos and things, and I'll run through why I chose which video for where, which place. Then we have the different channels for the railways, and the utilities are books. I'll run you through all of the different properties now. For Maroon, we have gaming slash miscellaneous kind of things. So we've got deal and truth bombs. The blue properties here, we've got gaming videos that I thought were poignant on Dan Phil Games. So we've got Spooky Week as a collective thing, because it's great. Golf with Friends and The Impossible Quiz, which were two of my favorite series on Denville Games. We have Pink, which is three Phil videos I thought were the best. Tour of My Brain, Why I Was a Weird Kid, and Sleepless Night with Phil. I chose a Tour of My Brain because I thought that that was his most like in-depth video, and it was really cool and interesting and original. And then the other two videos are like the series that he does on his channel, so they, they needed to be included. In Orange, we have three Three poignant Dan videos so I chose the internet support group as his like series things that he does all the time 
Dan's diss track because that needed to be on the board. And finally, Daniel and Depression. I was contemplating whether or not I should put Daniel and Depression on the board, but in the end I decided I should because I think it's the most important video that he's made and impacted the most people's lives, including my own. We have Red, which is Day in the Life videos, one of my favorite series on the channel. So we've got Day in the Life Australia, Day in the Life Japan, and the festive Day in the Life, organized from Best Worst. I couldn't include all of the days in the life, so I chose my three favourites. For yellow, we have baking videos, another great series on the channel. So we've got pastel and meringues, pumpkin spice, pumpkin cookies, and monster pops. Monster pops is the most important because we live in a post-baking universe. In green, we have pin-offs and amazing dance. So I've got pin-off nine because it's the most recent pin-off. Then we've got the original pin-off, fillers on fire, with the cute ass faces of that shit. And then we've got Amazing Dan. In the top two dark blue places, we have their first video. So we've got Phil's video blog, and then the number one most expensive spot on the board, the most important video of the Dan Phil saga, Hello Internet. We wouldn't be here today without Hello Internet. So that's the most important property on the board. For the channels, we have Dan and Phil Crafts on the bottom, Phil on the left side, Dan and Phil Games on the top, and Dan on the right side. I kind of randomly placed them but I had Dan and Phil opposite each other and Dan and Phil Games and Dan and Phil Crafts opposite each other. No particular choice on like where each one was going but besides that. And then I've got their two books as the utilities, The Amazing Book is Not on Fire and Dan and Phil Go Outside. As for other places on the board I've changed, for the taxes they're both crafting taxes so we've got Don't Cry Craft pay 10% or $200. And then on the other one we have Don't Cry, pay $75. Instead of jail, we have the queen cage, which my friend came up with when I was explaining to her what Lady Door meant, and then she was like, you should change jail to the queen cage. So jail is the queen cage, and then on the other side, instead of the jail man, we have the angry Facebook emoji that they have like the pillow of, that says go to the queen cage. And I thought that was more like fitting for them. And the last thing I changed on the board was instead of free parking, it says pro tip. And when you land on pro tip, according to the Fanopoly rules, you get to collect the money that's in the middle. In the middle of the board, we just have the Fanopoly logo, the Fanopoly thing, Chance and Community Chest, and then created by Katie Pops 2018 in this little banner here. That's just to like make sure they know I made the game. Next in the box, we have the custom rule book, which looks like this. I won't bore you with reading the entire thing because Monopoly rules are quite boring, but I will tell you a few things that I changed. So, for one, if you land on Pro Tip, you get the money from the middle because everyone should play like that. Also, if you land on Go, you get $400 instead of $200. Taken from the 2005 Star Wars Monopoly, we have rules for when you roll doubles. So instead of just you roll the doubles and then you get to roll again and then you end up in jail if you roll it three times, we have different challenges for the double that you roll. So, double ones is start the interactive introverts tour, move your token to any space on the board, if you pass go, collect $200. Double twos, upload a new video, collect $200 in AdSense. Double threes, release a third book, collect $50 from each player for a signed copy. I don't know what their third book would be about, but double fours is double dance. If your name starts with a letter before D in the alphabet, draw a chance card. If it starts with a letter after D or with a D, draw a community chess card. Double fives, double fills. If your name starts with a letter before P in the alphabet, draw a community chess card. If your name starts with a letter after P or with a P, draw a chance card. Double sixes, get stuck in a creep shot war. Get back at them by fighting another player for a property that isn't a part of a full color group. Each roller die, highest number wins. So that's just a little fun extra thing to, that I included there. Also at the very end of the rules, under winning the game, it says the last player left in the game and the winner, unless Phil Lester is playing, in which case Phil always wins. Because every time I watch Dan vs Phil videos, I just really want Phil to win. Sorry Dan. <laughs> Next we have the tray. So this tray was obviously taken from the secondhand Monopoly game I got because I couldn't make this full tray thing. I don't have the custom money on me but I will insert a clip of what it looks like right now because I won't be getting that until I get to England. In the first tray we have our property cards. I'll show you what they look like. One of the hardest things was getting the front and backs of the cards to match up when I was getting them printed. I will show you the dill one. Across the top we've got the name of the property obviously and then I've changed it so instead of it says with one house it says with one play button. 
uh, and then on the back it's got the mortgage thing and then for the channels at the top instead of the little train I've got a little YouTube play button and then on the books instead of the light and waterworks I've got a little book symbol that I made. In the next tray over I've got all of the custom play pieces. So we've got the two dice which sadly aren't custom because I don't really know how to custom dice. These were made out of white air dry clay that I painted. And I'll run you through all of the different tokens. So I asked my friends what they think like seven objects that represented Dan and Phil and this is what we came up with. We have an ampersand light, creator of the year Bonqua award, a little baby Totoro, Phil's blobfish plushy toy, a little bottle of Ribena. This, I think this one's the most detailed and I love it the most. A little corgi or a sheep. I'm not really sure, it's just a cute dog. Phil's shocked face emoji. And lastly, a little gaming controller. I decided not to do them in silver like the normal Monopoly are because I didn't want them to get confused with the silver play buttons. These are the silver play buttons instead of houses. There's 32 of them. They were a nightmare to make. And then we have the bigger gold play buttons which are in place of hotels. And in the last tray here we have the chance and community chess cards. So these are all custom and I'll have little custom things on them. I will read out the funny ones. I wrote most of these while watching the pigeon live stream so some of them aren't the funniest but I tried my best. I do want to say a lot of the prices on these are just like random like you'll see. We've got your classic get out of the queen cage free cards. For chance, start a new saying that ruins YouTube comments like soft and neat, pay each player $50 in emotional damages, put up with doing something crazy on Amazing Phil. Collect $150. Create the 7 second challenge app. Receive $50 from the bank. Inhale too much Sharpie fumes. Take a trip to the hospital. Pay $15 in medical bills. They're not always great. <laughs> the fandom debates over one sentence you said in the live show for two months. Pay $25 per silver plate button and $100 per gold plate button. Now, the community chest ones. I feel like these ones are better. Get caught in a vaping scandal. $40 per silver play button, $115 per gold play button. Get stuck in the Bahamas, pay $100 for a new flight. Give the people what they want, upload a video of Dab and Evan kissing, receive $100. They already did that, so this one doesn't even apply anymore, but give the people what they want, right? Win a game of truth bombs you bet on, collect $20. Come in my lady door gets number one on iTunes. Collect $100. Upload onto Dan is not on fire after three months. Receive $45. One of Phil's houseplants dies. Quick, buy a new one before he films a new video. Pay $150. Upload every day of December for gamingmas. Collect $100 of AdSense. Announce the lady door tour. Collect $50 from every player for opening night seats. I think this is one of my favourites. Release the pastel plushies after a whole year of waiting. Collect $100. Upload Phil's diss track. Receive $25 when it hits number one on the iTunes charts. Fall out of your chair in spooky week. Collect $10 from the extra views. And lastly, Phil eats all of the marshmallows before you can film a baking video. Pay $50. Marshmallows do not cost $50. But Dan and Phil don't need to know that. And that was Fanopoly. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, I spent too much time putting this all together. It took me three months of hard work and no sleep. I've been waiting to talk about Fanopoly and post about Fanopoly for so long because I've kept it a secret so that no one stole my idea. But I will be giving it to them at the show this weekend. So here is our picture as I will be uploading this post meeting Dan and Phil. Look how cute we are. We look amazing. Oh my god. Hey, nice to see you. How are you doing? And what is it out here? Oh, that, that is incredible. Can I show you? No, no. Sign this one. Sign that this is my copy of the rules. Oh, that's so great. That must have taken ages. Three months. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you want to play it on Dan and Phil Games, I want to get Oh, that's not cool. Thank you. I'm Wait, so can excited. I show you the board? Yeah. Oh wow, wow. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so nice. I love it. Thank you so I love so the much. process. <laughs> yeah. oh, we'll There's some sneaky rules in there that I changed uh, okay. as well. We'll look okay. out for that. Oh wait, can we take a picture with yeah, this? Yeah, 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 sure, no worries. Do you want to hold it and then I'll take a selfie? Here we go. 
Awesome. There you go. No worries. And then you can take that and then we'll keep this safe. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Have a good time tonight. See you there. Yeah, look, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my making of Fanopoly video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Tweet this at Dan and Phil if you haven't seen them talk anything about Fanopoly because uh, we need them to play Fanopoly on Dan and Phil games. And if they do, I will cry. Be sure to subscribe as I will be posting a speed paint of this interactive introverts record that I also did for them next week. And I will see you then. Bye. Mwah.